Well, hello, everybody. This is your stay at home grandma, and I'm reviewing Ellie Clear's journal book. And the first one I have is the Illuminate Your Story, and it's a journal. Let me get this up closer. And um, I'm late doing these because I've been sick, but believe it or not, um, I actually used these while I was sick and I read through a lot of them. This has got all of the alphabet in it. It's an introduction and it talked about the artist and punched over and dried and stretched and cap skin and all that. And you have to read it to understand it, but and then it has the, the history of illuminated letters. How she has them in there. I'll give a couple of pages on this one. Then she has other ones. This is the first book, like I said. And it's colored, and, and you can color these or whatever. And then she has places where you can write. And in them, in this one, it says, Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. And like I said, I wasn't feeling good, but um, these books, actually, I read through them because some of them are going to be gifts, as you know. And then, you know, they have the, the back, you know, and the little ribbon that you can, you know, so you have your, you can keep your space. And then it has this, which I really love, which goes around to close it. So that's the first book. And then the second book was The Illustrated Word. And um, this is the coloring journal. This is the Illustrated Word. This is the coloring journal. And it's an illuminated Bible also. But this has places for you to color. And this is what I wrote because, you know, this is this is mine. And um, I didn't do any coloring in it yet, but I was just writing just things I wanted to achieve and accomplish and, you know, but this is where you color. It says, I am God. Be still and know that I am God. So it has a little thing down in the bottom of the Bible. And I read my Bible every day, so then it says, peace, may the Lord bless his people with peace. See that? And then you color in there. So. I haven't started coloring yet, but I started reading it and writing in it. And um, this right here, let's see if I can get the page back. Because I was just looking at it and I was saying, it's funny how something comes to you when you need it because this gave me peace. Um, it isn't like I know I'm not going to feel good. I mean, you know, you have those moments, but. Still, you know, this brought peace to my heart because of this. So this was this one. And the last one was Faith and um, Lettering. And this was the Faith and Lettering Journal. And if you can see that right there. Now this is the one I believe my granddaughter likes. This is how to use this book. And... Um, She's getting into um, things that goes heart and anxiety, and there are blank pages there. And she's getting into journaling as well. And then it says um, Thanksgiving with with entering the gates of Thanksgiving. So well, this is the one that I like. And then in the back it says, "So the sun." So if the sun sets you free, you will be free indeed. Right there. I thought that that was really cool. It has a lot of sayings in these books, and um, I found them to be quite powerful. And actually, because I'm late doing it again, because I'm going to do all, all six of them together, because then she sent me three more. I don't even think I, I actually put in for these, but... I'm going to do this this way because I was sick and I'm catching up, but also because this was really nice. It says, turn your eyes upon Jesus, and it's a 365-day devotional journal, and this has the leather on it. And this 
also has passages in it. But then it has writing underneath, which is really good. I didn't start writing in this. I just read them through. I started reading the passages because I read, like I said, my Bible every day. And it's just um, rock solid, you know, and I started doing that. So this was the next step that she sent me. So there was three of those. And again, this is the 365-day devotional journal. And then this was Peace Begins With Me. This was also a 365-day devotional journal. I think I'm going to give this to my daughter. And this is the same as the other one is written, but it has scriptures written at the top, and then you write down in the bottom. And it's very final destruction, um, conquering love, what is your need? And I think that these would be really, really good to write in once for all time. And like I said, I had been having problems with my health. No, I had problems forever because, you know, I had a stroke, but, you know, you just live with it. And then the last one was the earth is the Lord's and everything in it. And this is also a 365 day devotional journal. And so it's written pretty much the same way, but with different scriptures and then small, you know, like salt can heal. So it's written like that. And I'm going to read one of them. Okay. It says, Morning Bird Song. You are my hiding place and you will protect me from trouble and surround me with the song of deliverance. And so these are the different scriptures, you know, and these are all scriptures. This was in um, Psalms. I think this was Psalms 3, 2, 7. I can't read this because it's, you know, my thing is not here. Um, but this, you know, it's in the Psalms, and um, I think this is Psalms 3 to 17, if I'm not mistaken. And then my very, my very own rainbow. And this is just really, these are really nice books. So again, this is by Ellie Claire, and I'm going to put her, um, WW, her website on. So that if you want to order them, this would be good for you to have because, you know, I mean, you know, in this day and age, you need everything you can to rocket you and fuel you, to, to fuel your rocket so that you can keep on going. And, you know what I mean? And you know that I'm going to keep on going no matter what. So God bless you. I love you. Take care. Give it a thumbs up. And I'll leave everything in the description box. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.